Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Monday, March 29th. We're going to be talking some NBA DFS picks on both FanDuel and DraftKings for today. But before we get started, we're going to talk a little bit about yesterday's picks and how they turned out. So both these are going to be my updated lines from yesterday. So on the DraftKings side, it wasn't quite as good. Start off with point guard position on FanDuel, and that was Fred Van Fleet. And he's $7,800, looking for 39 points out of him. Got to 40.75, so he was a hit. Shooting guard, Gary Trent, looking for about 24 points out of him. Got to 15.25. Not a very good day for him overall, so he was a miss. Bogdan Vagranovic, you know, he was one of the guys I really did like yesterday. Didn't quite end up playing as many minutes, so if you're looking for about 25 out of him, got to 14.25, so he was definitely a miss. Ken Birch, you know, had, coming off that big game, he was in that starting lineup again. Just didn't quite produce yesterday. Obviously, Wendell Carter Jr. was in the mix. Mo Bamba played a little bit better, so kind of knocked him down a little bit. Looking for about 25 out of him, got to 14.75, so he was a miss. Then last but not least, Nikolai Jokic. $10,400, looking over 52 out of them, got to 48.5. So he's a miss, but probably not one that hurt you overall. Then on the Fandle side, it was a lot better, honestly. Uh, Trey Young, $8,700. We're looking for about 43 out of him, got to 36.5. He was a miss. But then we got down to Fred Van Fleet, $7,400, looking for 37 out of him. And he got to 40 points yesterday, definitely a hit there. Bogdan Bogdanovic, looking for 21 out of him, got to 14.7, so he was a miss. But then my two Lakers big men, Markeith Morris looking for 22 out of him, got to 30.2, so he was a pretty good hit there. And then Montrez Harrell looking for 36 out of him, got to 43.2, so he was a hit as well. So kind of hit or miss day overall. I played very light yesterday. I kind of recommend playing lighter on smaller sites like this too, especially ones where there wasn't a ton of value. DraftKings side wasn't quite as good, but the FanDuel I did have one very good line where I had Trey Young, Dennis Schroeder, Fred Van Fleet, CJ McCollum, Bogdan Bogdanovich, I believe OG Ananobi, Markeith Morris, Pascal Siakam, and Montrezl Harrell. So that one definitely was a pretty good hit there. But with that being said, we'll get into today's games and the injuries at play. So we'll start off with the Pacers. Doug McDermott's a game-time decision. We'll see if he plays or not. doesn't impact things too much if he plays or if he doesn't play, honestly. Then for the Washington Wizards, we got Ishmith and Davis Bertans out once again. Bradley Beal's a game-time decision. We'll see if he ends up playing. If he misses... Halu Neto, Denny Advia, they're both in play today. Then for the New Orleans Pelicans, Jackson Hayes and Lonzo Ball are both game time decisions. They both missed the last time out. Then for the Celtics, Tristan Thompson, Semi Ojale, Romeo Langford are all still out. Evan Fournier is still a game time decision. We'll see if he ends up playing or not. Okoji and Russell are both still out for the Timberwolves. No major changes there. Uh, Brooklyn Nets. You know, Landry Shamit's still out, Kevin Durant's out, and newly acquired LaMarcus Aldridge is out. So no major changes there overall. Then we'll move down to the Miami Heat. This is a big one. Olodipo, Akpala, Nunn, and Udonis Haslam are all out. So the biggest news here is obviously Kendrick Nunn being out. So if Goring Dragic doesn't end up playing today, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, they're definitely going to get a boost, especially in terms of assists. And then for the New York Yanks, obviously we're looking at Julius Randle and Reggie Bullock. Are they going to play or not? Mitchell Robinson is out. Then for the Tirana Raptors, pretty much what we were looking at yesterday, all the guys that were out yesterday are all listed as game time decisions. We'll see if they end up playing or not. Obviously the biggest one here is going to be Kyle Lowry. If he doesn't play, Fred Van Fleet definitely gets a bump up once again. Then for the Detroit Pistons, uh, Dennis Smith Jr. is out once again. Okafor Hayes have been out for a while. Re- Rodney Magruder is doubtful, and Jeremy Grant kind of game-time decision, but it looks like he will play. Grizzlies are exactly the same as they've been for a while now. Houston Rockets got Nawaba. Gordon Exum still out. Christian Wood game-time decision. If he does not play, I do like Kelly Olenek today. And then Avery Bradley game-time decision. I don't think he ends up playing. I don't even know if he's honestly ever going to play with the Rockets, but we'll just have to see. Then for the Mavericks, we got Terry Reddick and Willie Coley Stein all out once again. Hopefully, Luca and Kristaps Porzingis are both back for this game. Then for the Oklahoma City Thunder, Mike Muscala's out. Shea Gilgis Alexander's out. Uh, Lou Dort is a game time decision, unlikely to play. Darius Baisley is a game time decision. I don't think he ends up playing. Tony Bradley, also a game time decision. So, right here, I'm looking at the whoever starts at that shooting guard position because uh, I think they're going to have a ton of value with Lou Dort being out. Then for the Kings, we got Ramsey and Bagley still out. Hassan Whiteside is a game-time decision. For the Spurs, Lonnie Walker and Bates Diop are both still out. 
Devin Vassell and Gorgie Jang, who I didn't even realize was on the Spurs, is a game-time decision as well. Then we get down to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kevin Love, Matthew Della Vadova, and Jared Allen are all still out already. Uh, Torian Prince and Hartenstein are both game-time decisions. We'll see if they end up playing or not. Obviously, the big news here makes Larry Nance very attractive. Dean Wayne may be a little bit more attractive as well, you know, with Jared Allen not playing today. Utah Jazz should have Mike Conley back today. Otherwise, they're just missing uh, Azubuki, who's been out for a while now. The Chicago Bulls, Zach Levine, Laurie Markman, and Daniel Tice are all game-time decisions. We'll see who ends up playing out of that group. Golden State looks like they might get Steph Curry back today. We'll just have to see if it's today or in a future game. Just keep an eye out on that one. Milwaukee Bucks, they're looking like they're back to health today. So hopefully that was just a one, you know, one-time thing, a one-game thing where pretty much their whole lineup was missing besides Brooke Lopez. Uh, Bobby Portis and P.J. Tucker are still both out. Then for the Clippers, Patrick Beverly, Serge Ibaka, Rajon Rondo, and Jay Scrubber out once again. But with that being said, that was a quick little rundown on the injuries for today's slate. A lot of games out there. It is 11 games. A lot of news that will be coming out later on in the day. As always, I'll be leaving all the news and starting lineups down in the comments below. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So we'll start off with the point guard position, and I'm going to go with Saban Lee. $3,800, looking for 19 points out of him. He kind of split minutes with Corey Joseph last time out with at that point guard position. I believe he started the last game. Uh, if Saban Lee gets that 24 minutes or so once again, I think he's definitely a candidate for 20 points, and that's kind of what you're looking for out of him today. Then we'll move over to the shooting guard, who is a former Detroit Piston, and that's Sheev Mikailu. He's also a former Kansas Jayhawk. I did enjoy his time there, obviously, since I am a big Kansas fan. But I think he ends up starting at that shooting guard position for Oklahoma City today in Lou Dort's place. You're looking for about 20 points out of him. If he gets to shooting well, he's definitely going to get you more than that today. So Then at small forward, I think this one's a little bit of a misprice, honestly, and it's Denny Advia. $3,400. We saw him in the starting lineup last time out. We saw him playing more minutes. You're looking for about 17 out of him. I think he's got a chance to get you 20 today, so definitely a good value pick. Then I move down to Jaden McDaniels, and you're looking for about 21, 22 points out of him. Been playing bigger minutes the last three games. I believe he's been in the starting lineup each of those games as well. Goes against Brooklyn today. Should be a good pace-up matchup for him. Should be a very high-scoring game. Should definitely have a lot of different opportunities for him in this game. Then last but not least, we got Mr. Moses Brown. He's been playing out of his mind so far this season. $6,800. You're looking for 34 points out of him. Probably get you 35 or more in this one. Al Horford is no longer. He's just going to be resting out for the rest of the season. Essentially, they're committed to playing their younger players, which includes Moses Brown. He was on a two-way contract before. He now officially has a real contract. So they have no incentive not to play him, and I think it's definitely going to be another good game for him. But if you go with these five guys over on DraftKings, you'll have $27,700 left over, just over $9,200 per player. So I really try to give you guys the value picks for today so you can pay up for some of these top tier guys because there's a lot of them out there and I think that's kind of what's going to make or break this slate you know you got Russell Westbrook James Harden Luka Doncic Giannis Carl Anthony Towns Julius Randle Kyrie Irving Devante Savonis Fox Vucevic Steph Curry if he plays there's a lot of good pay up options out there today so I think it was very important to highlight the guys that are going to be values early on so you can pick your pay up options later on for today's slate Uh, But with that being said, we'll move over to FanDuel and talk about my picks over there as well. So on FanDuel, we're going to go with point guard John Morant, $7,100. Looks like a pretty good price for him. Goes against the Rockets, who have been pretty awful this season, to be honest. And he's averaging about 35 on the season. You're looking for about 35, 36 out of him. So definitely a good matchup for him. Definitely should be able to get you a good return on his value. Then at shooting guard, I went with Tyrese Halliburton, $5,500, looking for about 27, 28 points out of him. Averaging about 28 and a half on the season. Goes against the Spurs. So the Kings and the Spurs match up pretty nicely. I think that benefits Tyrese Halliburton in this game. Definitely think he had, could pay off for his price tag. Then at small forward, we're going Denny Advia again. $3,600, you're looking for 18 points out of him. As long as he's playing the minutes, I think he's definitely got 20-point upside. you got to pay down on this slate for a couple guys. I think why not pay down for Denny Advia? 
Then at power forward, I went with DeMontis Sabonis. His price is very nice over on the FanDuel side. $8,800 looking for 44 points out of him. That's about what he's averaging on the season. Uh, the Wizards are a great pace up spot for him. Not a very good defensive team at all. So I think this is definitely a game that could be a big blow up game for DeMontis Sabonis once again. Then last but not least at that center position, I went with Moses Brown once again, $6,500. Him and Robert Williams are the same price tag. I think he gives you a little bit more upside on today's slate than Robert Williams. So that's why I went with him on both sites. Looking for about 33 out of him. You know, he's been playing really well. Not too much else that I have to say that I haven't already said on that DraftKings side. But he's just a good player once again today. But if you go with these five guys over on fan, you'll have $28,500 left over. Just over $7,100 per player, so definitely a little bit of room to spend up for some of these star guys and then spend down for some value picks as they come out throughout the day. But with that being said, these are my picks for today, March 29th, on both FanDuel and DraftKings. As always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It definitely helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. And that's really one for you, the viewers. Helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL. Helping you guys with your fantasy football teams. Covering all the different football news this offseason. And then I'll be covering some fantasy baseball and some baseball news as well. But with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber, be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I put up a new video. And like I've been saying, I post daily NBA DFS videos like this. But with that being said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you all do very well in NBA DFS tonight. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And last but not least, a special little shout out to each and every one of you watching this video. Definitely appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me. And I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.